Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I kind of want to just stay home. We got something cool to show y'all. What? Embryo designs. Our embryo. I'm gonna go get the, the picture to show it next to it. Wow. We're gonna frame it and hang it up and remember this embryo forever. We simply just had to go get a pizza. Getting pizza, getting um, cookies. Uh, cookies, getting cheese, and getting Gatorade. Vegan cheese, of course, and Gatorade. All right, currently we've got vegan Mexican sausage, Mexican chipotle sausage. We have a pizza in my arm. <laughs> and Sarah's having an existential crisis about what kind of cheese we should get. You told me once to never base my life off of two dollars. Exactly, so get the good cheese. Pick it up, pick it up. This is the thing, this is seven dollars. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> what? We work hard, come on. You just said you're like 62%. How many how many percents is that cheese gonna give you? We can I was making Sarah in the car watch in one of my ultra marathon runners and he says at like 38 miles and he's like, I'm 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 not I'm not I could say I'm not I'm not feeling hundred percent right now and Sarah's like, you know what, neither am I. I'm like sixty-two percent. So how much of the cheese bring you? <laughs> the cheese doesn't give you two percent. No, sixty-eight. I guess I'll I take need, it. Like, a chicken pot pie to be 100%. <laughs> I don't know what, but like for some reason, breads are always the thing that like I never trust. I'm like, is it is it vegan? Is it not? Does it have dairy? What is? It's everything. It's pretty easy. At the bottom, it always says in bold contains. But what if it's like a mom and pop shop and they forget that they say in bold contains dairy? This is the Surgeon General. Is that what this is? Who regulates this? <laughs> Not the Surgeon General. Betty. Surgeon General yells at you for your smoking cigarettes. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> my my request to stay in kind of went a wall. A wall, yeah. <laughs> Not as planned, but it's gonna be a good night. Ooh, here. We. Are you buy it here? No, I'm gonna buy it there, and it's gonna be great. She's not ready for us to stay home. But she got so excited, she spilled all of her food everywhere. What are we doing tonight? We're gonna watch one single movie before I go run. We're gonna watch Annie from 19. But that's for real? <laughs> we don't have it. Let's, let's, Peter's let's. never seen Annie, and I really love Whoa, every song. Whoa, everybody just said in the comments, boo, Easy Peter. Street. I have to put away these dishes though, because our lovely roommates clean them for us. Yeah. So I'm gonna dry them and, and put them away. We got some snacks. I want to show you this is my favorite vegan cheese brand and the t peppery taste on it makes it feel it's not just fake cheese taste so that's why i like it oh that pizza looks good and ready look at this delicious pizza i've wanted to get this pizza so many times but sarah hates corn and it's covered in corn as you can see but sarah got this when she was having a little tryst when i was gone last weekend and she loved it so we got it today Sweet earth, there you go. All right, the pizza, the crust is what they kind of like really reference on the on the box, mm -hmm. and it's so good. The, the yeah. cornmeal crust. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's got it's the perfect got crisp of, and perfect thickness. And just like juicy, flavorful. It's veggies. not cheese, but like yeah. just like the juices from the vegetables are really yummy. There's some fake cheese in there, isn't there? I don't think so. What is that stuff then? I think it's. They got tomatoes, love. corn, mushrooms. Broccoli, I see little broccolinis. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, all the delicious uh -oh. stuff. Eve's trying to get mine so You're hard. Eve's about to get it. <laughs> Eve, 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 come on, Eve. Is there a watchdog? I'm struggling over here. With what? Trying to find a, a movie or a documentary that I can download on Netflix to watch during my run. I'm currently downloading A Day in a Life, which is I don't know if you ever watched it. It's like a 2003 or 2008 documentary. About what it was like to live on like July 24th of some year. 
Oh, just some random year? Yeah, a bunch of people submitted like thousands of YouTube videos and the documentary oh. director like, put it all together to show what life looked like on one specific day across the world. That's cool. We're watching The Crown. And it's not fun because the king just passed away. Yeah. But it's a great show so far. Yeah. Episode and a half in. Great mm -hmm. cinematography. Yeah. It's like really, really pretty. And that girl's in about time, so we yeah, extra yeah. love we it. extra love it. You can see my shadow. Ooh. This is how Sarah likes to hold the eve. <laughs> and she puts her head under. Oh, she's not going to do it now. She likes to put her head under my chin and I'm just close. So adorable. Bay a bone to run. Is that a real song? Yeah. Bruce Springsteen. All right. We found this sign. Sarah said she heard that Gary isn't the greatest for you. Yeah. And the guys at a lot of the guys at the Bachelor. Just like weekend, the like the pure ingredient, like it, there's yeah. a lot of like unpronounceable ingredients. Yeah, and this is pretty basic. It's called body armor, super drink, and a lot of the guys were drinking it at, at the Bachelor weekend in Louisville. And it's coconut water. I love coconut water. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. It's got electrolytes, coconut water, vitamins, all that good stuff. And I have to go run 10 miles of them. Semi dreading, but I'm hoping I just get on the treadmill and start cruising. You will. Not for a bruising, though. No. So, as of this weekend, we really only have one more week in this apartment, which is crazy um, to think that we've been here the longest out of all of our other apartments is wild. Um, more than half of our marriage it's crazy um so yeah i'm really excited for our new place and the new location and all of that and today i started shopping online for furniture we we haven't decided which room we're gonna take yet it is a two bedroom two bathroom house one of the rooms is closer to the door and the street side which we think might be better for us than it would be for eventually a nursery um but the size is smaller than the other room that's like off the living room and i don't know i kind of like a cozier small room but i think we are remember the long debate we had months ago about a king or a queen well we got the queen from the bugs they gave us the spare bed that they had he was crying for something. I think she wants some water. But I think we are going to get a king bed for us and move the queen into our guest room. Gotta see what this puppy wants. Excuse me, sir, why are you here? Everything in the gym was off. Air AC, the fan. There's no wind, I gotta run outside, so I have to drop off all my stuff. <laughs> I did four. I gotta do just six more outside. Brutal. I feel so bad because I actually worked out the past two days. I haven't worked out since before IVF and it was such a part of my routine before. Um, but I was spending a lot more of my like extra time, more like meditatively relaxing um, throughout the day. And I mean, I still have a lot of work during the day. So that small amount of time I was more so spending quiet to myself whereas before that time would go towards working out and i knew that the air conditioning was out but there was at least this big fan on today that was pointing in the um the way of the machines but he just left he'll be back in just over an hour so the puppy just kept on barking at the bedroom door so i decided to get comfy situated in here um I'm gonna read, I'll do the message real quick, and hopefully Peter will be home soon, because I am tired. Living well and beautifully and justly are all one thing, Socrates. And then all 10 miles. Good job. It he was... also forgot his wedding ring at the gym and had to run in for the key and run out. I never, I only have just started taking my ring off when I do the dishes. I've never taken my ring off the, at the gym. I think I just really need to go get it resized. We'll but... be in Chicago soon. I uh, learned something tonight. It's bittersweet. 
Now, Sarah makes delicious dinners, as you guys always see. And not even just delicious, but like wide Nutritional range Nutritional of... and delicious. Like, but the this... other night, like, I like literally used every vegetable yeah. in our fridge. No, no, but this falls on me, mm-hmm. 100%, because what I, what I, what you guys don't know is I have those goos, but I only bring those out when I'm running like 10 plus miles, and I really should take those goos every four miles, and so I need to start taking those goo packets, because they're full of amino acids, every four miles. A new box is going to show up tomorrow, so I'll have more, and then I need to do better at eating at work. Yeah. Even when Sarah packs me a lunch, half the time I don't eat it, and with me ramping up my miles and it's still being hot, I've realized something between yesterday and today. It's not the most enjoyable thing, but I smell... And the way Different. I smell when I came home tonight, I researched it, and it's it's directly because my body's eating protein, like consuming protein when I'm running, rather than carbohydrates, because I'm not eating enough carbohydrates, or the good kind of carbohydrates. We actually bought a lot of carbs today <laughs> at the store. So that kind of worked out. We got bagels. So that's why I say it's bittersweet. I get to eat more, <laughs> but it's, uh, I guess it's, I guess it's all sweet. There's no bitter side to it, I guess. Just to change. Yeah. And to it. But Harder for me to not eat it because... It's got to be around for you, for me to have, but for right. you. I'm not. I'm supposed to steer clear of... The carbs. I mean, I'm supposed to have some carbs. But she's not supposed to have a lot of carbs. Right. Because of the fertility stuff. It messes with the, the blood, or the cells around the eggs. But also, um, carbs directly affect your sugars, which affect your hormones. Yeah. So... Looks like Sarah and I will have to differ a little bit. I'm, well, my idea is I'm going to eat a lot more of those goos, and I'm going to eat a lot more at work. Yeah. So then it really won't, Sarah won't see a change at all. It'll just be the stuff I do. I really think the goos will be a huge thing, and if I just have like a potato or extra granola or nut we'll mixtures at work, I'll be fine. Yeah. It's not a huge thing, but it's just a, a learning lesson. And it happens when you start ramping up miles. Yep. Well, roll yourself out and let's go to bed. It is good to be home. Good to be home. Guess where we're going tomorrow? There's no plan. Yes, there is. Hmm. You said. Experiment up our attack. Oh, you'll have to wait and see. I really hope there's some nice beverages there <laughs> of the Italian I mean, assortment. I mean, let's face it, we're trying to see illuminations. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.